Well, hello there, YouTube. Let me make sure my mic's plugged in. Yep. Today is Saturday, May 29th. I got my work done. Worked all morning. What is it? Uh, 3.35. So, wow, I didn't realize it was so late. Started about 8. But, on the Goldwing today, I, uh... We're gonna we're gonna buy another trailer, not the kind I pull behind the Goldwing or the Spider, but one that I can put the Goldwing and Spider in, and uh, we're gonna use it to move too. But I bought the kind. I don't have it yet. Make an appointment to go pick it up, and they're ten days out. So I don't know why they're. How can they sell so many trailers, or they're just only one person working? But I got a, a six and a half by ten foot trailer. And it's got three foot sides on it, which are like, oh, I don't know what you call that. Hard grating, not a fence, but kind of that, not chicken wire, but the hard grating. And it's got a wood floor, wood bottom, and it's got the, the big old ramp you can put down. I can drive either one of these right up that ramp. But I wanted the sides, not for the, not for the trikes, but when we move, I want to, I don't want stuff to fall out the sides. So I don't want them open sides, so I bought that. I got ordered that, and I just, or reserved it for 50 bucks, and, and they're going to save it for me. But I'll go pick it up, oh, on the 8th. Believe it or not, wow, I can't kick it up the same day. You don't have, by appointment only, go figure. But I got to drive up to Colleen to pick it up. It's the only place I could find that kind of, the trailer I wanted. So I'll, I'll go pick that up, and I already put the hitch on my wife's car. She, gosh, she's got a Cadillac, um, oh... SUV, what is it? XT, XTF, or I forgot what it's called. I went blank. But I put the hitch on that the other day. That was kind of a pain. The holes don't, it, it was actually made for that SRX. It's made for the SRX, and but the, the holes lined up on the frame, but the holes didn't line up underneath. Uh, I had to kind of wall her out. They didn't line up perfectly. I only got one bolt in that, but so I got five of the six bolts in. The other one won't even come close to going in. It doesn't line up at all. So it's a very poor design. Made for the SRX, but still a poor design. They don't fit. They don't line up. But the plug and play, it's really cool. The, the SRX has just a little blank plug. You pull it out and you plug the other one in. It's just perfect. Just a plug and play wiring harness. So that works out good. So we're going to use that to uh, to move. Like I, I wanted to get it so I could move. We could load it up tomorrow, and I we're off on Monday because it's a holiday. So I was hoping I could get it and load it up with all the garage stuff. I, there's a whole bunch of you know those racks and stuff I can move out of the garage and really clean that garage out. And I was, we wanted to move it up on, we bought that storage unit, or rented that storage unit, and so we, we're going to move it up on uh, Monday, but didn't work out that way. Got the hitch on, but didn't work out to get the trailer in time. So our plan was to go up at least once a week and haul stuff up there to the storage unit. Uh, I want to get my shop, my office. I got racks in my office, too, with all my camera gear and just stuff for photography so I'm gonna clean all that out because we're gonna eventually gonna put uh, wood floors in my office to match the rest of the house so we got a lot of work to do but the trailer will really help and then I'm gonna keep the trailer because my wife will not go on long trips with me anymore on this but she will go if we can tow it so I would love to go up to Zion again and do Utah if I could just park a trailer and, and pull this one of these off and just ride around Utah, which is Zion, Arches, Canyonlands, all that stuff on the bike, that would be perfect. Then just go right back to the hotel. 
So that's my wife will like that a lot more instead of taking, uh, you know, we've ridden for five, four or five, five years, you know, 3,000 mile trips, and she just doesn't like it. And it really is no fun. I can't leave until mid June because of work, and it's hot as a oh my god we hit 109 degree temps and and she just doesn't like it and doesn't want to do it anymore and and i don't like 109 degree temps either but i can't go early because of work i always have to wait till mid-june but when i retire i can go anytime we want which will be great so that's the plan uh, what's that? Six and a five, six point five by ten foot trailer, which these either one of these will drive right up there perfectly. And I'll have to buy a zero turn lawnmower too, and I have to probably go buy that and drive it up on that too. So the trailer would be nice. It's just going to take up my take up shop space. But the plan was to get one of those winches, put it up there, and just winch it up and get it off the floor and out of the way. So we'll see how that works out. Bye. Oh, someone asked me on my YouTube channel in their comments, do I feel heat from the motor on the Goldwing? And yes, only when I have my legs out on the highway pegs because the radiators are right here and the heat from the radiators hit your shins. But once I have them down here, you don't because then I'm hidden behind here. But when I have my feet on the highway pegs, yes, I feel the heat from the radiators hitting my legs. Now on the spider, zero. Because the, the radiators are in the front and then when even the fan comes on it, it pulls them from underneath and pushes it out towards the front. So you could ride all day long on the spider with your feet out on highway pegs or in the middle and you won't feel, you'll feel zero heat from the motors, none whatsoever. So the Goldwing's just got a big, uh, a big motor, a big six cylinder motor. So the, I mean the, like I say, the radiators are right there. So you could probably get some little vents to kind of go out, but uh, I'm not gonna do it. It doesn't bother me that bad. It's it's not like like burning your leg hot, but you can feel the heat.